Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Just excuse me for a second, I'm getting ready in here. Maybe I will need some extra light, we will see that. Maybe, just maybe. Now, what do we have here today? Uh, many of you ask me to do tutorial how to work with metallic threads. Because it is a little bit, uh, I would say, tricky and uh, not as easy. Well, it's easy, but it's a time consuming because you need to pay attention to every stitch and uh, not as you would do with regular DMC. Now, what we work in here? I have this uh, summer, summer bride or summer season, summer angel, lots of people saying different names for this design. And I do not have any special threads in here, but I decided to change one color in here into this gold metallic thread. Now I stitch a little bit in here. Um, I stitch in here. Let's see how we're gonna see it. Okay. Maybe I need to turn around just a minute. Okay, so what I did, oh. I just, okay, here's my scissors, okay, so I did stitch with metallic, this row, this row, so basically everything where you see orange, it will be stitched in this gold threads. Uh, so I will start my next this box square as you can see there's outline is orange so I already started a little bit and I still have my threads with the needle but I left just to show you have this threads holding through your work. Now I have like a size of my table in here maybe like a meter long was one link even maybe longer so let's say four meters of threads I've been moving at once because I'm using this thread in four layers because it is very very thin threads so I'm using four of them but I want to show you let's see if I can show you actually very very close all this time that I stitched, let me find it, you can tell that my thread still in a perfect condition. You see that? The only where is wear out, it's where is my needle on this side. Whole, look at close, close to the needle. Uh, that's the only where my thread hang on a needle the color faded a little bit gold but the whole link in here perfectly fine and did not rub off at all uh, i did some tests before by washing those threads sorry have the camera uh, and it's working perfectly fine with the washing just don't use maybe bleach I don't know how that but you wouldn't use a bleach for a cross stitch anyway because you don't want to damage your other uh, threads so yes they are beautiful and shiny with the real light and the real it looks so much better than of course on camera uh, so I just going to finish this last of my thread and how I will finish, I don't know yet. So let's figure out together if I can flip my... You can see I created from this side to here. I did run my thread in here. Maybe not enough tension, I don't know. Maybe I should make a little bit better. Well, it will overstitch with the other threads up there. Now to finish this, I will have to be probably, let me see if I can get to you very close. We will see if this will work. That's as close as I can get. I will wave. If 
by one maybe on a side okay i cannot see hold on let me get my lamp which one is in and out okay see this side is um this not very easy to do because it's a stiff canvas and it's not the right needle i'm using in here if uh, this this show up with this canvas so i did once oh, where's my scissors hello i'm gonna make sure my thread go straight so i need to stretch to the right position I will make it go through this whole needle, push backwards because it's a short thread. One more time to kind of make a knot. I will make a knot in here like this and then I will wave more. Because metallic thread is not very easy to do because it can easily untangle. Go one more time through this wiggle and maybe even one more time because I'm going to overstitch this part. going to run through one more time in here okay hopefully it will stay I'm going to leave right now a little bit longer tail okay so now the main thing about rule number one how to work with metallic threads okay, I have my needle minder on this side now this needle is not the needle that was originally came with my cross stitch let me see if I have in here my original yes see this is the needle from 14 count Ada this needle is from 11 count ADA so if I can compare them you can see it's much thicker like in here especially we need to have this part a little bit bigger than this one uh, so yeah definitely you can see the difference and the thickness of the needle now why you need to get the needle a little bit bigger so your metallic thread don't rub it off too much in the fabric of your canvas some canvas is really stiff for example like this one it's a really uh, stiff canvas and every time you go up and down up and down you rub in your metallic threads through this fibers because they are stiff treated with some um, stiffener um, maybe cornstarch maybe something else so we need to be having a bigger needle now there is a way i will do my uh i will measure my threads first how much i want to take okay hold on hold on so because i'm going to do a four layers so i'm literally grabbing my thread and i kind of spread my arms and this is probably more than a meter I will have so I'm going to fold in half this is going to be two just a minute okay you can see now there's my edge in here so I need two more like this to make it even or I'm just going to keep this is my center and now match my other 
corners to go two of them together okay so let me do this part off the camera because now be careful the threads will be try to tangle up you have to be really careful not to make this like as a knot because it will kind of like a make a breaking point on a thread see for example like this one curled up together when I untangle and and pull it I can make a break on my needle I mean on my thread kind of like a creating a crease it's not much you can see right now so I need to be careful to untangle this okay let me just make a link of my thread in here hold on because it's keep wind it up because I'm using a long thread because I know the usage of this thread is wonderful okay I got the link that I needed it's a very long very long and what I will do First, we are going to put this thread away. I'm using an a ziplock bag. That way, I'm not going to like untangle or unwind. That way, it's more safe to keep it in a ziplock bag, so it's not uh, keep untangling. Now, I'm going to stand up of my chair, find my center over the floor kind of let this loose threads because they are tangled up from being winded up together so I need a time maybe I should just pause my video to let this do okay let me pause it okay so I fold my thread on half and I will put my thread into the needle maybe it's too close okay now if you use a thread for like this or like for example two but this tail have to hang down you will be damage your thread because your needle going to move um, like on a one spot to another spot and will make a mark and, and take it off your gold or silver layering so I find that this easy way to do if I can just put right now my thread all the way fold on half one more time because I need to have a four layer let me find my other ends there okay put them together now I have a layer of four make it even on your needle And now I have a little bit probably more than a meter long. So now my needle going to stay on the same spot till I finish. This way I can use gold thread much longer than I would do like this tail be hanging out and I have to keep threading and threading, kind of stretching thread to make it longer. So I, this is going to stay. So the only damaged thread will be right where my needle is because it will go through the canvas all the time a little bit harsher but why you have a bigger needle from 11 count Ada uh, to make a holes in the fabric a little bit bigger so your silver or gold well metallic let's just say make metallic threads less rub it off in the fabric because the needle will create bigger hole for them to go through now when I started in here I kind of wave a little bit and make a knot and uh, kind of a little bit difficult to 
to start with this kind of threads. So what I will do now, we will try to make it a little bit easier. And what I will do, uh, I have my two ends. I literally, okay, so we have four in here. See the hoop and two ends. I will create a knot. A little bit tricky. Let me do with my right hand. I usually turn over and then kind of slide and twist in and then pull and this will create knot. It's not very small but it will stretch a little bit. But this way it will be secure a little bit better without try to slip away later. Okay, so now let me find spot where we're going to start. And we are going to start, I'm going to do upside down to me, because it will be easy for me to start. So it's going to be, I will go take this off it's kind of a little bit on my tripod right now so I will start from here go here and go up so that I will finish this side later so I will be starting right from here so I need to mark I'm marking it, I'm turning upside down to see where my needle is, okay, and I'm going to get my lamp back to me, and I will wave in here to get the part, see, because this needle is not very sharp, because it's from 11 count, okay, I will run through see it's long it's long okay here is my knot I can secure a little bit later with the regular threads a little bit and I will go one more time from the same same wave to secure Now hold tension in here so the threads go, all, all uh, layers go evenly at once. At this point you can even go through the hoop to make it extra, extra knot. There. Now it's pretty much secure. It's maybe not gonna see too much this way. And I will find my starting point and let me just set up my camera close to me. Oh my lamp. Okay. Get it? Okay. I think it could be enough. Okay, for the purpose of this. Okay. Like that. And I'm going to put a heavy box of my. What I should put something on top of my frame. Like I always show you, I have something extra. This time I'm going to put my accessories from the bead and supplies that we will keep my frame steady and not move around. So now I will find my threads on the back of my canvas. Get a little bit more off the table. And I will hold my, my strong arm, it's my right arm. So my left one under my canvas, hold and thread so they don't tangle. 
now I will go now I pull this kind of tension see because my frame doesn't have a all the way in here um, not the hook up see like see that the frame is here so it's a short little bit that's why it's more wiggle so ignore that please I just do like a technical thing okay so now I grab my thread in my left hand I do tension and I go down okay I think my needle slip okay so that was the part you can even put sometimes you can put even not but since you go a few times your needle will find a way to stay all the time on the same spot but for now you just hold it all the way to the end sometimes you can use even extra needle if you want more help and at this point I will do full sets of X stitch and you can tell now or not mm, that's see that's far you cannot see yeah because my one got flat one got up a little bit so this point I have to grab my thread pull it with the needle and tackle like this like this to make sure it goes straight because sometimes it's stuck uh, or slip from your needle a little bit Now do not let your gold threads or metallic threads to twist because it will create the bands uh, maybe purposely I'm not gonna hold this so I can show you if this would be possible to do I might need to change the position of my camera a little bit for this tutorial It just you have to really secure your thread every time you go down or up. Uh, metallic threads has ability to twist. If you twist, it will create this broken line, kind of almost look like a knot, but it's not knot. It's just like a uh, a fold so you have to untangle in your hands before you press it uh, to your canvas because it will be visible later so the more you work then better it will get like secure this this part will kind of like a more pinch together it will not be slipping all the time but to start you really have to kind of work a little bit harder this uh, threads are absolutely gorgeous okay so let me try to see if I can put camera front of me I don't know how good that would be but okay let's try a few stitches it's going to be super duper not comfortable for me but I think you will see much better what I'm doing in here and my hands are really close to camera so sorry I just want you to see as much as possible okay if I don't hold and I pull oh well, this one okay but then um, sometimes uh, some threads can be sticking out so you just pull the threads all of them like under the canvas to make them even up and now I'm holding my left hand right in here under my canvas by keeping attention so this thread doesn't move till I pull my other and now I let go and then I will hold this one from the top Daisy, hold on Daisy, oh, Daisy just grabbed my thread, because she's laying right next to me, she stretched and catch my thread because it's so long, 
okay you see it in here it gonna tangle up if I it will be a fold kind of almost make like a fold and half if I don't help them to make it smooth even up so that that's the part I wanted to show you it's important okay this needle go a little bit kind of like stumpy uh, a little bit harder than would be from 14 count needle smaller I don't know what size that is but that, that's the purpose of this it's going a little bit harder by creating bigger holes so now my threads go so easy down barely even touching fabric itself that's why the gold uh, layer stay nicely to the very very end as I stitch and I really highly recommend for you to get these threads because they are good um, and I did purposely um, grab my thread very very super long because I wanted to see in which point my thread would be start losing a color and I was very surprised to see that I stitched the whole thing to the end and you saw the little short tail that's left and was perfectly perfectly gold without any fading When I look right now on the camera, it looks like kind of greenish kind of color, but it's a very pretty gold. Yeah, it's just important to always hold it because this thread's slippery attempt to kind of slip away if you don't hold. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Maybe you should push my tripod a little bit further let's try a little bit further but readjust to this part also be careful not to split your thread so when you pushing your needle down or from the bottom to the top, make sure it's go uh, not to split your threads, go directly into the hole. Uh, see now if I will push it, pull it, these threads will be tangled up so I can have to loosen up a little bit. Okay. For, for example in this technique when I go from the bottom to the top and now when I click uh, put my needle in here make sure I don't split this threads in here already that I have in this hole so I have to make sure go straight into the hole it's time consuming a little bit but very satisfying I would say very satisfying mm. make sure don't tangle up from the bottom pull all the threads together and you, ju you just kind of like a pull it, just if you feel on the bottom with your other finger a little bit not straight, just loosen up like this so they can all get to the same level. And I can tell that one thread, um, let's see if you can see, uh, one thread in here is sticking out it's not exactly flat you see this one a little higher so what I will do I will grab my thread and I go with my needle in here pull them all together and make sure that I kind of pull it to make them all flat now it's flat
Oh, I almost forgot. I have a uh, two bits in here, and they are pretty much close. I should get like from this one to here. So I'm gonna catch this one right now because this is balloon to be metallic. With metallic threads, rule number two, don't ever stitch two holes at once because then you will wrap your threads twice from one side to another will be go through your holes much harder so it's always go up and down in one pull pull up first and then go down because if you do like this in two your thread will be cut oopsie It will be much faster, your thread will be kind of used up or break apart. So it's good to have stitched them just like that. And I will go straight up to my other single stitch. And I'm moving because I'm literally on the top of the tripod. Hold on. Get this one. because it's super super not comfortable for me because I have to look through the magnifier here okay sorry about that my husband called and I put you back on the table so I think you got the idea what I trying to tell you and maybe not the best explanation because also my canvas is wiggling because I don't have a good tension on my frame because it's frame a little bit too small for this one but I hope you have the kind of idea that rule number one is to use bigger size of the needle and rule number two not to stitch two holes at once go slowly one by one so you need your thread rubbing only one hole but the hole created by needle it's big enough that's barely even touching sides so it's perfectly fine and I just need more patience because basically, you know, you have to hold the thread in your hands all the time. Go up and down, up and down. And it's all the time in your hand. So it depends uh, on the um, threads. So now the other one. Uh, Bonnie, the one that you have thread silver one that came with different canvas I think uh, we try in six no that was like an eight or something was too much we tested out in three was too thin because it was uh, I believe it was nine nine or eight threads nine so I think I will do in uh, four I think four or three was there how we do first first test with you maybe I'm just going to stitch next time with the other threads that came with the kit because those ones um, three or four can't remember now I think I'm not gonna mix those threads in this one I'm just going to leave this tutorial as it is how to work with metallic threads what's the best way and on different angel with different threads I will separate and we will work kind of a little bit on this design a little bit on that design but definitely I think the metallic threads should be done first because later it will be let's say 
if I stitch in here this blue symbol with some um, DMC threads and later do my metallic, then my metallic will be rubbing off in the threads that it's already stitched in here and the holes in here would be smaller already. So I think like for myself, that's what I decided to do for myself. If I put my metallic first, that way I have lots of room for them to go through up and down and my needle for the other threads would be smaller so I wouldn't be bothered too much of the stitches that I already done. So hopefully everything worked pretty good. Definitely love the shine of the threads. They are good quality, they are strong, they don't break easily. And work perfectly fine just in here now kind of it's getting a little bit more comfortable in here kind of getting bended so it will stay on the same same position all the time actually having a fun to work with this I think I already figured out for myself how to stitch the squares so my uh, thread always will be close to the next symbol jump to the other side Let's see if we have a... Okay, tingle up a little bit on the other side. Something's going on. I have to pick a bull. Uh-huh. Some... Okay. Some thread was tingle up. Came out short. Okay, so that's what it have to be. Pay attention. I didn't pull all three of them evenly. I mean four no it's still still this side is longer. Hold on. I have to there now it's right. It just slipped from the needle a little bit. I kinda hold in my C needle like this and I'm kinda pinching this side to kind of keep it so my thread stays together as much as possible. It's not always work like this, but as much as possible I'm trying to keep that point. Like for example, I pull out in here and I run right away a hole here to pull all four threads together equally. Same goes to the other side when I pull down. When I look through the light, they are so shiny and so pretty. And that spool is humongous one. Now this uh, summer girl, she's from Paint Some Way. Paint Some Way. Because I have all season and they all kind of from different stores. But now I think every store have all seasons. Before it just started, it was hard to find all season in one store. Oh, 
Okay, thread, have to even them up. Yeah, every time you pull, make sure no threads sticking out. Because sometimes one can be on the loose, not pull too tight. And it will ruin smoothness of the stitching. See, like pull and hold. I can even maybe zoom out a little bit and maybe it's so you can see a little bit more of my hands working in here. I don't know if that would help you. So I'm just holding a pull on this side. Go all the way. Now my hand go under. While I'm pulling in here, I'm already grabbing so it's tension already to hold and continue. So it's a little bit longer, but I have to say it's fun. Every time you're watching those sparkly threads go through, oh, make me happy. Okay. Daisy, lay down, girl. Yeah, look in the window. So I'm thinking this way. That's how I will do. Full stitches to the end. Full stitches to the end till the last one. I will do half stitch in my last in here to go to this part and I will do a half stitches then come back close my stitches close my last one in here so it's a very short jump through the white like a blank side in here to my next one and then from here I will go full stitches full stitches full stitches same thing from the last one I will do a half stitch half stitch go back close them to the full stitch close my last one to the full stitch and jump to the next one and that way kind of like a perfect connection go all the way around without breaking uh, your uh, line um, because my thread is long I want to keep it as long as possible Mm, I can even, I definitely I can see that I can make an even longer thread because they holding up the colors pretty good. It's not breaking or nothing, not rub it off. Uh, some cross stitch that I have, what was the Asian vase? Up there, design came with some metallic threads, but to create blends and when I do my blends maybe because it's in a mix with other threads that go kind of harder a little bit through the canvas you get um, more easier uh, rub enough color and I don't even I can't even like finish to the end my thread I have to grab some new ones because the piece that I already working with getting kind of like a fading away and start to breaking up these threads are really good now I do have exactly the same spool in silver color that I did not stitch with yet but I also tested out uh, like by washing so washing is good oh hold on I think it's Catherine now home Catherine baby it's you yeah say hello to everybody Bye. she just got from school she had today a trip so I will be right back with you. Okay, let's stitch a little bit more. 
Just chit chat a little bit with Catherine about her trip. I just want you to let's just create this a square and then we can look our square very very closely. I will take a camera in my hands. So hopefully we can see this gorgeous sparkles more close and hopefully camera will pick it up. One stitch at a time. That's it. And soon as you start, the threads start listening to you a little bit more. It's just at the first time because they all kind of wiggle after the spool. And the more you work, the more they kind of get in straight. And now they listen to the moves and stay nicer. Like in the needle, it's already see how it stays in the needle. I can see that um, some gold colors start to fade in in my needle in here that way it's supporting thread a little bit better i don't know if you can see from here but that's okay that thread is strong it's not breaking in pieces like some do love 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 this one threads and definitely i will stitch much more with them in any opportunity i will have i will definitely stitch more I even thinking to stitch in silver, you see this letters in here, summer, because they supposed to be just stay blank like this. So I might well stitch with silver threads. So I have more sparkle or I will do with beads. Maybe I put white pearlescent beads. Uh, in here would be good to work with uh, number 11 seeds. And I have like an iridescent, transparent, uh, white, beautiful seeds. Or maybe even incorporate uh, silver thread and seeds. That way it will be more shine maybe. What do you think? layer and very nice okay so what I want to show you in here we're just going to do the square because we are going to do the last one stitch on this side oh no there's a two more okay there's one more Actually, I might not going to do the half stitch on my last one. Just a minute, because it will be more comfortable for me right now. Okay, so I'm changing mine a little bit, because I'm stitching in here, and then will be close for me. Actually, basically, it's the same thing. No, never mind. Never mind, it's the same thing because it's still going to go through the same hole. So I'm making my half stitch now here. And I will go straight up to my row here and create a half stitches. It just I have right now here because I wanted to finish the rest of my thread so I kind of started the square already all right so we're doing a half stitch I was going to do her face um, a little bit, but did not have the time. 
sometimes I wish I have more time but there's other thing and this week is going to be busy super busy again lots of things to do school party for kids okay here's my last half stitch and we are connected with our threads and now I'm going to close them into the full stitch Now when thread get a little bit shorter it's much faster to do. One video I'm exporting, which is European Town Cross Stitch Wednesday. I've been starting exporting already three times, it just keep shutting down on me. What is going on? I know at this point you probably already saw this video because I have to upload somehow. But for now I'm getting it. I'm having a trouble. This is my third video of recording today. I want to be a little bit ahead. Okay, so now I'm going to this is the one that was half stitch now from here to here. It will be easy for me to reach kind of closes in here then I would go right the way up there so I will go and close this one and then it's very close now to get my oh see this one thread want to flip um, going to see it probably but I have to untangle with my needle to make sure it's go flat and then now I can go in to my next row and keep going so this is really satisfying I have to say very satisfying because I love these threads uh, yeah, so I will do the same thing. I will close this line all the way my stitches right away Full stitches so I can get end up in here again to go to my to my next row. So let me get you off my tripod And show you this Gold metallic maybe even through my magnifier glass because it's a beautiful light so you can see the beauty of it Okay, through the magnifier you can see actually very nice. Look at that. Okay, literally my camera now is staying on top of my magnifier glass. So that's what we created. They are very, very shiny. Let's see if we can bring even close. Oh, look how shiny. Now it's getting after focus a little. So yeah, it's really, really beautiful. And you can see that they layer very nice actually. Yeah, and if I show you needle through the magnifier as well, uh, you can see that it starts to rub up a little bit in here, but the old link is nice and shiny. But now, because it's rubbed off, your needle always going to stay on the same spot. And you can stitch all the way to basically to nothing. You're going to be very little waste of the threads, and that's what I like about can we go through the other magnifier to this little tiny hole? Let's see. Let me zoom out. Bring you close. Um, oh no, I have to bring my canvas close. Hold on, we're gonna experiment. Just a minute. Just a minute. I will bring a canvas to the to the O 
Oh, I wish I can stitch clothes like this. Look at those beautiful gold threads. Oh, that's awesome. This little magnifier is awesome. I wish I can get my camera on this kind of point. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I have in here those lines and little diamonds, kind of. I want to put some gem on the inside. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow with some new video. Let me know if this tutorial was a little bit helpful for you.